blood, stone, joy, anger. The slap of a blood-soaked hand on stone shouts through countless centuries. I was here. I will always be here. Vision has a voice that must be heard. Clay, wood, bone, tusks. Pots made for practicality bear the fingerprints of a potter. Children's clay toys are rubbed smooth by kisses and love. A centuries-old wooden door will have every part replaced so that each piece is younger than the door itself. Bone lasts. Decorated and polished, it pins up the glossy black hair of a queen. It slips through the fingers of a monk, counting his prayers. It becomes the strong handle of a hunter's knife. Tusks last too. They become the cover of a book of wonders. They are carved into miniature, intricate treasures, keeping the personal safe. They gleam on the keys of a piano that brings music to the world. Thoughts, dreams, hopes, fears. The eyelid's inner side holds worlds, both familiar and strange, filled with visions, music, words and creatures. It's a place where artists of all kinds go exploring, bringing treasures back to the everyday. The needles on a sewing machine were born in a dream where the dreamer was chased by men with sharp spears, each with a hole near the tip. Poems have been created in opium dreams. Melodies have been discovered in dreams and presented to the world. Athletes are encouraged to close their eyes and visualize carving the perfect figure in the ice and then wake and do it. Visions are voices that must be heard. And so all artists shout, even when they whisper.